Hardy, 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 Hardy. All right, <laughs> Harley Pan America 1250. Per usual, I'm not going to get into all the details, the electronics, the settings. So we'll see how this rides. Let's take this thing out. This is my first time on a Harley Davidson. So many bikes here. This is another uh, comfortable seat right here. As usual, let's throw up the uh, engine stats here up on the screen. It's the 1250. Kind of just lugging along here. So good reach to the controls. Um, just before the ride, the, the lady with Harley Davidson came back. She's like, you're about six foot two. And I was like, yes. So she adjusted the seat and just basically moved it around to put it in its... <laughs> Chase didn't even see me. So anyway, what was I saying? Oh, so she put it in a different seat height, which was just using the same seat and just setting it differently into the frame. So that's pretty cool. And if I wanted it any taller, they have an actual tall seat that you would change out. Traffic has picked up a little bit, so I doubt I'm going to be able to get to this, but I was told that the bike really comes to life at 6,750 RPMs. <laughs> she said, do what you will with that information. <laughs> uh, I, that, I appreciate Harley. Like, They're just like, we're going to cover our legal bases, but we also are going to convey the information you want to hear too. You know, because they understand what demo right is. So my first impression of the Pan America is it's a very comfortable bike. That's a good seat, good foot position, uh, good reach to the handlebars. I'm not feeling like stressed or strained in any way. So that's, that's definitely a good thing. There sure are a lot of buttons over here. There's a lot of buttons everywhere. <laughs> Pretty easy to move this thing around a little bit. Not as easy as a, a 400 or something but it's not supposed to be but for its size it feels very nimble hopefully nobody else is turning right up here that's good acceleration and handling it's kind of an interesting engine characteristic in that, I mean, this is a V-twin and at 1250, it's going to be, you know, it's a big engine moving a lot, creating some vibes, but it's almost like that's just its natural behavior. And when it revs up, it doesn't get any more vibey, like uncomfortably. If that makes sense, usually it's like the more you start to rev a bike, you feel the vibes come on. This just kind of has a natural vibe just throughout because of the V-twin. But even then revving it out, it's not like it gets just any worse or anything. I hope that kind of makes some sense. And this windscreen actually does really well. I'm not feeling a lot of wind on my head bouncing me around. I'm just feeling a little wind on my arms, a little bit flow into my pits, which is certainly good in these hot Georgia days. So windscreen's really good. There, 
there's the engine braking. <laughs> All right. All right, Harley. Harley Davidson obviously known for their cruisers. So this being a I don't want to call it a different direction, but just an additional new direction for them. And man, this feels good. Let's see how adventurous he is. Easy to stand up. I'm still like reaching. I'm having to hunch over a little bit for my hands to hit. Still reach the handlebars. So maybe if I were to do this in an off-road type of situation, I would want maybe an inch or two handlebar riser up a little bit for the standing portion, but not terrible. Oh, this has heel hold. Oh, cool. So I could squeeze the brake really hard and you see that H? Now I'm off of the brake on both the front and the back. And it disengages when you give it some throttle. That's cool. That's a nice touch. Because when you're at a red light like this where you could be sitting for a while, any type of incline where you could possibly roll a little bit and just holding that brake is not fun. Yeah, traffic is a little crazy right now. All right, here we go. This certainly feels like a, a very high quality bike. Um, like, I mean, the buttons feel good. They look good. TFT dash, the seat is comfortable. The engine is responding exactly how you want it to. I think one of the things that could be appealing to some is the characteristic of this engine, the V-twin, just that, that grunt of it. That's just, I mean, it's not the, not quite the potato potato of Harley's uh, historically but it, it, it is certainly one of those things to uh, to give it a characteristic I would say uh, which is great because you can get that feeling like I'm on a motorcycle I'm on a Harley America all that which is great for me it, I, I think at some point I would be like okay I want the smoothness I don't need to I don't need the bike to tell me that I'm on a motorcycle. You know, I just want to enjoy it, cruise down the road. And so, I mean, that's really my only critique and that's a nitpick thing. And that's a personal preference thing. Otherwise, I mean, this is this is great. I am enjoying this so much. Ergonomically, it's good. It's a, it's a good fit, I like that. When it comes to the style of this bike, I'm, I, I am good with this whole style of the bike, except for the headlight. That, that front of the bike, I'm just, I don't know, I can't get behind that. Even though technically I am behind the headlight at this moment, because of, you know, where you sit. Anyway, that headlight, that kind of, it just, it's weird. Um, I, I get why it's designed the way that it is to tie into the Harley family, but it's, yeah, I'm not a big fan of that part of it. Harley, 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 Harley. It's not a good a good feel when pressing in the blinker button to cancel. Like I, I'm not even sure that I'm actually canceling it. I mean, but otherwise it feels okay to hit the blinker, but like canceling is weird. Uh, whatever. Yeah, as I get to the tail end of this ride, I am feeling a little bit more buzz in the handlebars. Again, that may just be a byproduct of the V-twin just, just grunting underneath you. That's just what it is. Good machine, just maybe a little too vibey for my taste. Ah, uh, ruckus, yay! Ah, uh, bringing it back in. 
Thanks to Harley for bringing these bikes out here. And me not dying. Very good, thank you.